Here we go guys, Jack Cattrall takes on Regis Progress today at the Co-op Arena in Manchester, live on the zone in what is a must-win fight for both fighters. How do I see this one going down? I think Regis Progress has come here to fight, he's got nothing to lose, he's a dangerous fighter. He did lose to, to Devin Haney last in what was a one-sided unanimous points victory for, for Devin Haney getting dropped in the in the third round. However, I don't read too much into that. He did give Josh Taylor a hell of a fight. It was very close on the scorecards, but I think it's going to be a very tough night for, for both fighters. However, I do see Jack Cattrall uh, fresh off the momentum win from his rematch where he rightfully won against Josh Taylor. He should have won the first decision. He should be undisputed champion of the world, but I think momentum's on his side. He's fighting in his home crowd as well. He's fighting in the UK. And I think it's going to be a, a tough win for Jack Cattrall, but he's going to win on points. It's going to be a very edgy, close fight. But I can just see Jack edging out Regis Progress on what is a, a very close scorecard. Mr Neutral, how, have you see, how do you see this one going down? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name's Mr. Neutral. I'm uh, reporting for Punch Out Boxing, and I'm going to the Jack Carroll vs. Regis Progre main event in Manchester at the Co-op Live Arena. Uh, main event time. Well, this a short prediction uh, from Mr. Neutral for on behalf of Punch Out Boxing. I, I do believe this is a, a, a make or break fight for Jack Carroll. I do believe that he cannot afford to lose this fight, uh, whereas Regis Pogre is coming into this fight with nothing to lose. All to gain to become three-time world champion. From the press conference on Wednesday, he was emanating the best I've ever seen Regis. He was confident, super confident, the way he took down Sam Jones, you know, with that, that message on his phone. That was funny. So um, let's get into the fight itself. Jack Carroll is, a, is very much a counter boxer. He's very he, he's very slick and he uses that Philly shell so well in, in his defence and uh, he's very hard to hit. Whereas, but but Regis is very he's very patient. He wasn't two time world champion for nothing. You know he lost to Josh Taylor in a very close fight. He lost to Devin Heen, the elite fighter, and. Uh, at the back end of his career, at 34, so it's by no means, a, a, for me, in my opinion, it's by no means, a, let's, a, let's see, an easy task for Jack, but let's, let's get to the point. The fight itself for me will open up like this from round one. I think it's going to be a very tentative first few rounds, you know, both trying to use the jab and trying to counter each other. You know, one would say it could be quite a boring opening for the first three rounds, but then I expect it to open up. I expect Jack to start taking more risks, feeling that he's got the home crowd behind him, he's at home, he's homecoming as a, you know, uh, titleist contender. Uh, so let's let's just think that for one minute, the confidence starts to get him. Four or five, he's starting to dominate. Uh, Regis a little bit, the crowds get behind him, the, the coaches are happy with his work, but then round three, six, seven, eight, that's when Regis will come alive. He'll know he can't get a decision in England for me uh, with the judging. And he's coming here to knock out Jack Carroll. And the, from round seven to round 12 will be the most dangerous time for Jack Carroll with Regis Pogre. And if he can wear him down with sheer work and accurate punching when Jack's defences are probably not at their best after a grueling 10 rounds. Regis Progre could open up with a combo that could end Jack. And that's what I'm plumbing for ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Punch Out Boxing is a, Jack, is a Regis Progre knockout championship rounds. Thank you very much.